Hi guys, so welcome to my May haul. The first thing I got very recently, and this was for Ready One's Big Weekend, which was in Norwich, and I remember looking at the weather forecast and it was meant to heavily rain and I thought umbrellas in the kind of festival situation in crowds umbrella like you're not going to be anyone's friend so I thought I would get something which looked quite fashionable but yet it's waterproof and these were luckily reduced I think they are still reduced as well I think they are still I guess quite a lot of money for what it is I think this is around I would say 30 35 pounds and it was reduced from 40 to 50 pounds and they had it in silver as well they had loads of different versions so it's just a see-through raincoat which had glitter the only thing is the glitter does come off I thought it was kind of glitter wedged oh yeah it's coming off I thought it would be kind of glitter wedged between two clear layers or something but no so I'm now covered in glitter from holding it so imagine how I looked after wearing it all day the next item is this white duster coat and they have this in so many colors they have it in black the black is a different material it's more kind of silky they have it in a more kind of nude color which I tried on and it did not suit my skin tone or my hair so this is just a very simple vest although it was quite pricey but this is cashmere blend and I thought I'd check out the boutique section I got to pick out an outfit when I did the Olympus Topshop workshop so the duster gate was part of it feels so soft and it hangs really well so if I saw this online I wouldn't have batted an eyelid but touching it trying it on I think this is very flattering whilst still in boutique I blame Yannin she was like let's go to boutique so I followed along I first saw these on a mannequin if I saw these on the hangout I probably wouldn't have thought anything of it but on the mannequin they looked really nice they do look kind of like a loose fit but they are still flattering although they just skim past your bum so no flattering on the bum area here but these are silk trousers so they are quite pricey and they were boutique I like how the waistband is matte and the kind of slight shine of these silk trousers they do have pockets and they do have a turn up at the bottom there's also back pockets to them as well I think these look very relaxed very sophisticated I think with a more fitted top would work really really well so for the Topshop workshops I wore the duster, the white vest, I did wear just some black jonies, the ripped ones I've shown before and then to complete the outfit I then got these little shoes, they are holographic reptile skin and they are really really comfy, obviously fake reptile because what reptile is this colour? Imagine though, that would be really, really cool. These are true size, quite comfy, they are very kind of casual looking but kind of edged up with the metallic. And then another day I popped in to Topshop, I am in Topshop a lot, if I'm in London you'll probably see me down Oxford Circus and I got these, these are key sunglasses and I have quite a few of their pairs now, I saw these on their Instagram, went to buy them, sold out, I was just in Topshop, saw they had a stand and they had loads of them, so they had the tortoise shell, lots of different colours, but I wanted these for the blue lenses, I love the trim around the edges, they are very flattering, I think they suit a lot of face types, I wasn't fully sure if they suit me, as I have featured these in my favourites and I have already filmed the favourites video. Next item I got was this big old jar of coconut oil. I got this from Holland and Barrett, I think it was two for £15, so it was on offer and I really want to try oil pulling. Now I was meant to try this the other day, I couldn't open the jar, um, so I haven't started it yet. If you guys have tried this, let me know how you've got on. I heard you can also do it with is it sesame oil, some other oils, and it just helps with the health of your gums, also just removing stuff. Some people said it helps whiten the teeth, some people said it doesn't really do much. So I'd love to know your feedback on this. I've seen quite a few people trying it, and yeah, I haven't started it yet because I can't get into the jar. So I've picked up a lots of new Liz Earl bits. Now I mean lots, but instead of showing you everything and boring you and it being super long, I thought I would just show you my favourite bits. So obviously the cleanse and polish, I don't have it to hand, but I'll include a close-up of it. Now that has been my cleanser of choice for a very long time. If you follow me on Twitter around when I started using it, I noticed improvements within four days. So I love using that. I now 
now use it two pumps straight onto makeup at the end of the day and it really melts off your makeup then I use the cloth to sweep it all away then do one more cleanse afterwards to make sure I got everything off it's just quicker to how I used to do it also I was recommended this oil and um, this is the Liz Earl super skin concentrate oil and because it has rose hip in it's really good for healing and my skin tone is so even apart from these few areas I've had a few breakouts but this has really helped fade the red marks I've had from previous spots so if you do have that kind of issues this is really really great and my skin can be quite oily so this is actually really good at balancing the skin so in the evenings instead of moisturizing I use this so for Primark I got a few bits the fits of these are really nice slim leg I mentioned before they probably are cropped on normal leg legs people but as I am short leg they fit me I think they would look better more cropped I think it kind of elongates the leg a little bit so they aren't high waisted that's my only thing I would change is to make them more high waisted just that's how I prefer trouser fits but I think these were £9 and you can't really go wrong with £9 and they're not quite high waisted it's fine back pockets aren't real but front pockets are real I, I quite like these and they are just £8 they felt just a little bit too loose in the four so I did size down on these I popped into Liberties and I did leave with two new Hourglass products so I do already have the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation although it was quite in the wrong colour so I went in to ask what colour I was and then she matched me perfectly so I thought well I might as well buy it now I have the right colour I also spoke to her that the coverage wasn't quite good enough compared to what I thought people said so people said it is medium to full coverage I thought it was quite sheer but she told me I need to use a brush now most foundations I kind of think is fine using your fingers but she said for this product you need to use a brush otherwise it absorbs more into your hands than your face so I got this little brush and it's a mini kabuki brush and I love it because it just packs away so well now you might be like Leanne you're using a brush you never use brushes that is true I did mention this to her I don't really use brushes because I'm lazy I don't clean them enough and that's just going to make my skin break out so why not just use my hands if I wash them before and after it just to me sounds a lot more hygienic and a lot simpler but she said that the bristles are antibacterial and I only have to wash this every two weeks so not as bad I guess usually I say this is my more on special occasions foundation just because it is so expensive but I've enjoyed using it so much this has now become my everyday foundation it's so expensive I popped into American Apparel since it's in the way skatery skirt at the bottom from a side it has really nice low lowness to it the words are escaping me right now we'll just go with that and look at the back the back is just beautiful and the next items I'm actually wearing on these fingers so these rings are from the great frog London they are very expensive but they are so beautiful and I got a massive anchor and the rope I love originally with my anchor tattoo I wanted the rope but the tattoo has said it will look good now but in the future it's gonna look crap so I never got the rope this one I really love as well I think this is the one Sammy's got um, so this is kind of like the first one I ever saw so when I think Great Frog London I always think of this one so that's the reason I got this so if you remember in my last haul I featured Save on Makeup and I got some more bits also I had a few more of you ask in the comments so sometimes I can't reply to them like there isn't a button to reply to I don't know why that quite happens some people were worried about buying from there that the products weren't genuine it does say on the website that everything is genuine I guess people just worry because the prices are so cheap and obviously in the media recently they've been talking about fake makeup and what it can do to your skin but they said for example like this is a Chanel nail varnish and the packaging looks different because this was meant for demonstration so some of the things they are saying were originally meant to be samples for people to use to try out in the shops but they don't end up there so then they get sold on at a reduced rate because for example they aren't packaged and they're not quite right to sell as actual main products so that is why they're so cheap so I did get this Chanel nail varnish and they don't care it didn't come in the box 
This colour is so pretty, goldy green colour and I think it catches the light really really well. And then I got a Dior nail varnish which is in, I think it's normal packaging. And it's this beautiful colour, and this is in Rosy Bow. I think these both were $8.99. If the price is wrong, I'll then put it up. And then I got another Calvin Klein lipstick. These are $1.99. And this colour is in First Kiss. I was wearing this earlier today. I will include a picture. And now I have a necklace from Lila Loves. I also featured them in my last haul. I showed some ring sets, which were both only £3 each. And this statement necklace was only £8. And I think that is such a steal. When you see necklaces like this in Topshop, for example... Like, this would be, what, £15 in there, and it's the exact same quality. I really love the colouring of this. I showed this on Instagram as well. I also have a discount code because it did so well last time. They were going to be more generous. So my code, which I will leave on the screen, is LLW20. Uh, it gives you 20% off your entire order. And the last items are handmade lingerie from the line Oh My Lovely Intimates. And I followed them on Instagram for quite a long time. And the quality of their pieces is amazing. When I got it, I thought it was actually like shop bought products, really nice materials. I'm actually wearing one of the tops, well, the bras at the moment. I thought it looked really nice under kind of see-through stuff. Um, so I'll include a picture of the top with the pants. I'll show you the pants. Obviously, I can't really show you the bra as I'm wearing it. And then the pants are the same kind of lace material. So lace at the front and then sheer at the back. And then this band wraps around your waist. And then I got this bra. It feels so for Love and Lemons kind of style. So it's like a mesh triangles with, is it applique? I can never pronounce anything right really, can I? And um, with that to cover up your nipples. So those are all my items that I got last month. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know your favourites below. If you are new here, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Hi guys and welcome to my very first high-end haul. I got something from Mark Jacobs. I don't know if this is in frame right now and I have been using this bag. Yeah, it just comes with a white soft dust bag which is really, really dusty itself and this is just a nice simple leather bag.